Okay, now replacing the oil filter. I've removed the oil filter from the plastic. Um, inside the plastic, can't they always come with a new seal? Always put a new seal in if it comes with the filter because I made the mistake of putting the old seal back in and it leaked out. So I've done that once and once only. Um, so yeah, when it comes with a new seal, that orange piece there, put it back in there. Now a little circle piece in the bottom of there. Push that in and it should lock in. So it should lock in so it doesn't come out. Now if that be the case, Once you get back down in there, bloody arms aren't long enough for this. I've got my car jacked up. Okay. So down in there, see where it's going. And then all we gotta do is do it back up. Hands are starting to get a bit slippery. So what I'll do is come down and go my big grove. It's gonna be a lot easier with that. And then down there my big drive. And slot that back in. Got it turned the right way. Ah, don't bloody do it to me. There we go. Okay, now I've got to drive in. matter up to up okay still gonna need to go a bit more you gonna make sure it's reasonably tight on there Pretty tight. What I'll do now that that's on, come back up underneath. It's drained out pretty well. Uh, where is it? Okay, so it's drained out pretty well. Get in, place my plug. Plug back in. Well, not new plug, but yeah. Let's plug back in. Get to twenty-two. Do it up. You don't want to do it up super tight, because you can break them, and they're a pain in the ass. Okay. So, I've got in and I have replaced the oil filter, the fuel filter now, um, put the sump plug back in, now the sump plug's back in, all I've got to do is start filling up the boil. Um, another thing too, it's always handy if you've got a second bottle that's empty, it's been empty for a while, 5 litre bottle. Um, grab your 10 litre one, put a few litres in at a time, say so you're trying to hold a big 10 litre one over the top of your motor while you pour it in, and that way you can measure it, because you only need, say, about six and a half litres. And then, once I'm done with that, I'll just get my new air filter out of the box, and replace my air filter and put it back together, and that'll be pretty much the service done. Start the car up. Take it for a bit of a lap, and that's it. Easy stuff. 
Hope you enjoy the video.